Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day that you're giving yourselves. You're opening up yourself up towards different and better possibilities or opportunities for yourself so you know it's going to benefit you in the long run so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback and the content of my video. Or you just uh, tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the loved one or a friend or another empath that's going through something that, you know, it might see fit to what they're, you know, what they're going through please go ahead and share and also give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so thank you once again for stopping by my channel and so much sewing showing so much love and support i don't know why i'm getting tongue-tied today <laughs> and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um today let me see uh what am i the meditation music that i'm listening to you can't really hear it this it, it shows very beautiful peaceful pictures um it's called 432 hertz uh raining vibration um uh, raising vibration music emotional and spiritual healing deep cleanse ambient angelic tones um i get this from uh kenneth soars i was just telling him that i was mentioning some of his meditation music that you know he has he has a lot of them uh even to the short ones like if you need to have information um uh, Affirm affirmations or mantras it does stuff with the you know for the overthinking the negative vibes the inner child healing the inner child it's like 10 or 15 minutes long so you know he does those the talk ones but you know i can't use the talk ones on my on my videos because they'll be you know kind of messed up or whatever so i try to use the other ones but you know if you want to go by him or you can just go in my playlist because you, you can go on my channel and I have a playlist where it says new relaxing music. Um, and it shows a lot of dip, a lot of my different uh, meditations that I use, you know, especially for my videos in the background. Um, so you can be able to get those vibes as well as you're getting, you know, the positive you know, information you need to get. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Unknown Force. Hey, Oka's getting Unknown Forces. Uh are pushing you out of your comfort zone yes it's like lately it's just been really crazy for me like my car had broke down like the alternator went out on my car and I got really frustrated because it seemed like you know trying to work out um, making my videos and trying to get my daughter back and forth to her job and stuff like that it just seemed like I didn't never had that much time in the day and I was just like oh I get overwhelmed I get overwhelmed and it's just like it just seems weird you know and it's like God asking your prayers even though you know she, you need your car to get, go back and forth but it with my car being broke down this gives me a lot more time to do what I need to do for self you know because I always tend to do things for my daughter or whatever because you know that's what moms do better be an uber to get them back and forth to where you gotta go or you know working but i'm just more work based right now home base where i gotta do everything here now so i really don't really have to go anywhere unless it's for her or i gotta go to the store or something like that but lately since that that happened i have to do a lot of walking now and which i love to do anyway because i usually go on a walk like probably about 45 minutes to an hour every day at least or up to two hours sometimes it just depends you know if the weather is permitted but now it's like right now it's like where i live at it's like 70 degrees 70 75 degrees so it's just been a little bit wet but i'm just like okay i'm not you know i'm not gonna melt from water you know as long as it's not pouring down i'm good so if it's like sprinkling or it's, you know it's just wet outside because it rained overnight i'm okay you know just take an umbrella and i just go but it just you know i don't know what it is i guess it's just with me being an empath you know being out in nature 
makes me feel really good, especially from going through a lot of stuff, you know, hearing the, the you know, the squirrels chirping and the birds making their little noise, the little mating calls and seeing the butterflies. And lately I've been having a lot of ladybugs, you know, landing on me. I remember the other day I was wearing my sunglasses and I was walking and listening to music. And next thing you know, this dang old lady, ladybug came right dead in my, my sunglasses. I almost had a fit like, ah! But, you know, I said I try not to hit it because I know that's a, a like, it's supposed to be a good, good luck, indication of good luck when, you know, when a ladybug flies on you or whatever. So, um, but it's just like, you know, I've been pushed out of my comfort zone because before I used to be so depressed and I would just do my videos, eat and go to sleep, you know, and it's just like now with me doing things that I didn't need to do, I'm getting out more, you know, getting out, out, out outdoors and, you know, because I was getting kind of depressed because, I started gaining some weight since I don't smoke cigarettes or smoke weed anymore. It's just like when you smoke cigarettes, it tends to take away your appetite because, you you know, if you're stressed out, you're going to just light up a cigarette. But now, since I do that, I eat, you know, more than anything. So it's like lately, you know, I'll tell y'all, eat like gummy bears or drink down some Pepsi or eating a Kit Kat. And I'm just like, you know, that stuff packs on pounds. So, you you know, I'm getting all depressed. I'm like, oh, my God, I got so big. But now it's just like it's starting to come off and I'm not eating you know, I'm not being depressed like I was before. So it's like now it's kind of a blessing because it has me out more in nature now. Just appreciating, you know, God's gift to nature. You know, seeing all the beautiful flowers that are starting to come out and bloom. And, you know, seeing the animals and stuff like that. So it's just like pushing me out. So, you know, lately I might be doing the same thing for you. Like something might be irritating towards you, but if you look at it in a positive perspective, you, have, you know, because I was like, oh my God, my alternator went out. But it's just a blessing that, you know, my ex, he has family that that is helping me get my car fixed and they own like an auto shop and auto repair shop and they got, you know, they, they sell parts and stuff like that. So we're getting them cheaper than we usually do. So it was all a blessing, but right now it's like my car is, you know, on downtime. So Lately, I've been having to do things where I have to walk, but I'm fine about doing that because it's like, you know, even though my body's like really stiff from it, because I know that y'all probably see me move around a lot because my body gets really stiff and it gets locked up. But I'm just like, shoot, I ain't in my 20s no more. <laughs> I'm about to be 42 in like three months. So I'm just like, ugh, you know, if it makes me feel old, but it, it's just like it's putting my body to use. So it's like I'm, I'm getting out of that comfort zone. So universe got me out here walking more than I usually do. You know, so like I said, I usually do my, you know, my walks around different, uh, you know, flat streets. But now I'm going up these big steep hills. And I'm just like, oh, my God, you know, this is a lot. But I'm glad I'm doing it because it's pushing me out of my comfort zone. It's giving me muscle and toning on different things that I usually have not been doing for myself. So it's a blessing for me to be able to do that. So it's just like more things I'm doing. Like I told y'all, you know, I sing a lot. You know, I did a couple of music videos, um, du duet videos with my dad. But it's just like with the copyright, you know, I can't really do certain ones unless it's something I know he wrote for me. Then they really don't say anything. But if it's just something I want to do, they'll, uh-uh, can't do it. It's copyright, you know, can't do that because you, you'll be doing it for somebody else. I'm like, oh, this is just stupid. You know, and some people are like, well, Rosalind, that's your dad. You get my mic. It doesn't even matter, you know, so I'm not even going to argue with him, even though, yeah, that's my dad, I shouldn't be copyrighted, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, it has me doing a lot more things than I usually do, you know, but it, it's got me out of my depression. It, you know, like if, if I'm on my downtime and I don't do the videos where um, I'm recording me, you know, singing with my dad or whatever, I do it you know, just on my alone time, you know, because it really makes me feel like I'm connecting with him in that way when I'm singing some of the songs that he, you know, a lot of his songs that he has sung, you know, and it, it just has me where I can feel his spirit like right there with me and just singing along because I always wanted to do that with my dad. So, you know, um, universe is having you, like I said, you know, a lot of us are getting activated. So even if you, you're not had, had that activation yet, you're there from what they're telling me, universe has got a lot of y'all coming out of your comfort zone, doing things that you don't normally do, you know, got you pushing towards things, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I might fail at this, or, you know, what if, what if, you know, people might say something or whatever, you never know, you know, you shouldn't worry about what other people think of you, what people are going to say about you, 
people struggle to love themselves every day. So, you know, you have to be willing to take the bitter with the sweet sometimes. Just like I know I push out a lot of positive videos. There's going to be people, you know, I, I have to laugh at it because there's sometimes people will come up to me. I mean, not come up to me, but, you know, get on my, my channel and talk about how they hate me or, you know, F you or, oh, you're, 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 you're a child of Satan, you know, knowing the things that you know. I'm just like... I pray for people. I don't worship the devil. I'm not in the Illuminati. You know, I'm not doing stuff like that. But if, hey, if that's what gets you to go to sleep at night because you feel like you're doing something, you know, that tells a lot about your character and less about mine. So, you know, I'm going to keep going where I go because, you know, I know I do something that, that's benefiting other people. They are actually helping people. So it's just like if you want to feel like that's the devil's work because of things I'd be able to do, that, I mean, this narrow-minded ignorance to me. So, you know, you just, the universe has just had you, you know, pressing out, pushing your envelope, you know, having you do things that you don't normally do, um, having you go for careers and, you know, you probably not lost your job or something like that. Because I know a lot of people that, um, well, for the last, like, probably about the last year, six months that I've talked to, you know, that either they got fired from their job, you know, or lost their job because of certain things. And I'm just like, First thing I ask them when they tell me, like, Rob, you know, I always feel like it's sad for you to lose your job because, you know, that's your, your lifeline. That's, you know, how you make your money, how you pay your bills, you know. But then I'll tell them, is this something that you, you, you wanted to stay at? Is this something you were happy at? And they're like, no, that's the main reason why. They'll, it'll be the littlest thing. Like, you could have never been in trouble never got written up and all of a sudden you lost your job over the most dumbest thing that's say you, you universe is gonna have it happen to you because you know you would have still been there still complaining about the same thing knowing you didn't want to be at that job anyway but they they'll have certain things that'll come into your life that will have you venture off to do something else because they need you to be happy they need you to be where you need to be at where you don't feel like whatever you're doing for a living is gonna make you feel like oh, I don't want to do this or, you know, ugh, I don't want to feel like going out there. Anytime you got to do something, you complain about what you got to do the next day. It's never something you need to do in the first place because, you know, just like there are certain jobs I didn't want. You know, if I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job, you know, but I'm just like the universe got me doing something because it's like I don't look for umpteen jobs and still haven't got anything any callbacks yet. I might have been on the second interview and still haven't got a call back. You know, I'm doing my part, but you know, it's it's up to God in the universe if they want me to have certain things. So it's just like everything happens for a reason. So it's just like even though I don't have, you know, what I need to do for my job, I'm, things are still getting taken care of. Um, I'm still making my videos because that's why I think that's where this is going to end up going anyway towards my videos where I'm, you know, I'm making a living off of doing this. But it's something I love to do. It's just like it doesn't seem like it's a, jo a chore or, a, you know, a, like a job to me. It's a career. It's something I love to do. And I tell people I love making videos. I love to be able to help people. This is what I've been wanting to do for a little since I was a little girl, but I never knew how I was going to do it. Now I'm seeing the stuff that I'm doing. I'm like, wow, you know, my mess ups, my mistakes is helping other people knowing they're not alone by, you know, doing this. Because with us being hey, okay, we do ass backward stuff. When we do stuff, we always take the hard road on doing things. You're like, why do you always do, you know, you go out your way to do stuff and it's aggravating, but you know what? You still get the job done. That's how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> that's how we supposed to do it and it's just like you know people you know tell me Rosalind I didn't know what a Hayoka was until I started watching your videos shoot the truth let it be told it you know I had to have an Indian chief come in my dreams and let me know hey little Hayoka you gonna be doing this I'm like, why do you keep calling me Hayoka I don't even know what that is that's not my name okay little Hayoka you know until next thing you know that daggone dream you know uh Came, kept coming to me almost every few nights and that was leading me towards you know watching a video and it's just I'm like, hey you know this is something about Hayoka's and then when I started reading about everything that a Hayoka does my mom had a problem with having me I was supposed to be a twin I was this is not my first time supposed to be in a twin supposed to be a twin you know I take I do ass backwards stuff you know I don't like being labeled I don't like being put in a box there's a whole lot of things I did not know I was going to do but it pushed me to do things that I never thought I was capable of doing 
So it's just in the long run when they push you out your comfort zone and you know, when, when everything's all said and done, you sit back and look like, you know what, I'm glad that this happened because I would never have found my calling. I would have never known what, what I was, you know, if there was a label for it. I would have never known that there was more people out here like me. So knowing when you're put, being pushed out your comfort zone, there's always a reason. There's always a reason for things to happen the way they happen. But it just takes a little bit for you to, when everything settles down, for you to know when it happens. So I'm not going to send out no little yah yahs today because it's already over 15 minutes and it takes like about five or six hours just for the daggone freaking video to upload. So it probably won't even be up until tomorrow. It just depends. But like and subscribe. I hope you were able to resonate with this video. Drop me a line. Share, share, share. You know, hit the notification button and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you do are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Bye, love to you. Peace. Wow.